guys, it is Rachel here, just uh, coming at you with an update for Monday, May the 16th. Today is VLCD 15 for me. Um, I also need an update for yesterday because I didn't update on my weight. Um, yesterday was VLCD 14. I was down 0.8. This morning I was down one pound. So uh, my weight currently is 154.4. I'm really so close to 150 and I'm I really hope I can get there because um, this is my last week I have exactly a week today and then I will be done that's all I'm gonna do um, hopefully I will reach it by then and if not I may decide to maybe extend an extra day or not I don't know I haven't really decided yet I just really hope that I'm gonna be able to get to it um, what I wanted to talk about today, though, because there are so many people talking about this, um, I just watched Lori HHCG Crazy's vlog, and, um, she was talking about distilled water. Of course, you guys know Miss Kelly Southern Diva talked about distilled water. Um, Miss HTG Girl talked about distilled water, how it kind of made her sick. Um, so I've been, I've been saying that I was going to do some research on it, and I did, because, um, as you guys know, for me, I, I drink it every day. It's the only kind of water that I drink, um. And I haven't had any problem with it. So um, I just thought I would kind of give you guys a rundown because I have had people ask me, oh, well, why do you use it? What does it do? What are the health benefits? Um, so I thought that I could maybe answer some of that. So um, the way that you get distilled water, and this is cool because I actually used to do this in college in organic chemistry, we would we would distill water, is you boil you boil water, just regular water, hard water or impure water, um, you boil it so that it turns into water vapor and it's, it's done in this this machine it's like a big machine so you have like where it turns into water vapor and then it passes through this machine and it's uh, into some kind of a cooling condensing tube and it condenses back down into water but once it evaporates um, it all of the impurities stay behind so that's pretty cool and um, because of that, distilled water is considered the purest form of water um, because there's so little contaminants in it. Um, it's it's used a lot in you know like beverages um, to you know so that the companies can ensure that everybody's getting like really pure, really drinkable water. Um, also, it's used in countries where people don't have access to good water. Um, so it's, you know, that's a pretty cool thing. So you would think that because it's very pure that, you know, it'd be really good for you to drink, but that's really not the case from what I found out. Um, most people say that if you do drink it, you should only drink it for a short amount of time, and I'll talk about that a little bit too. Um, so the nice thing about distilled water, because of the way that it's collected um, and the way that it eliminates the toxins from it, um, you know, drinking it can be really useful because um, it, the pH, something about the pH of it, um, oh, the, uh, it, there's something in the distilled water that forms an acid when it comes into contact with carbon dioxide, which, as you guys know, um, our body produces carbon dioxide. So it makes, it forms this acid that lowers the pH of distilled water and that actually causes the distilled water to be able to remove toxins from your body. Um, like it can it can dissolve metals that it comes into contact with. So like heavy if you have ever talked about I heard people talk about heavy metals in your body and um, cleansing your body of metals and things like that. It can actually remove toxins from your body. So that's good. Um, what else? Um, like I said, you shouldn't use it over a long period of time. So what's good about it is that it you know it can get rid of all these toxins in your body. It can remove mineral deposits that you have in your joints. It can actually help prevent arthritis from happening. Um, it's free of microscopic microscopic toxins like bacteria and fungi and viruses. Sorry, my um, mom called while I was in the middle of making my vlog on my phone. Um, so I think I was at talking about how the bacteria and viruses and fungi and stuff are, are actually in tap water that you drink, um, but distilled water doesn't have that. Um, it also, the process of distillation removes chemicals like fluoride and chlorine, which are commonly added to tap waters to, um, to help 
clean them because most tap water is recycled wastewater. Um, if you guys didn't know that, um, it gets rid of minerals that are in your cells and it helps prevent um, conditions like gallstones. So that's cool. Um, and it has no calcium, salt, or magnesium present um, in tap water and bottled water. And you can get, you know, those kind of minerals that they say are good for you to have. You can get them from your food or, you know, things like that. However, um, the thing that they say that's bad about distilled water is having too much of it, um, your body absorbs more carbon dioxide. And this can lead to a loss of electrolytes in your body, which isn't good because I'm sure that would make you feel, like, tired and weak and, you know, things not good for your health. And, um when you don't have electrolytes um, and certain minerals it can lead to things like irregular heartbeat and like blood pressure fluctuations and you know things that are bad and then like I said you know like Shanna Miss HCG girl said she just felt like sick sick like dog sick she was just really super duper sick um, upset stomach all kinds of things And she said as soon as she stopped taking the distilled water she felt you know ten times better so you know, maybe it's not for everyone. Maybe um, some people can take it and some people can't. Um, I know for me personally, um, I feel like it has really helped me a lot this round because my last round that I did, um, I was not this successful on. And I feel like, you know, as you go on and you progress, the closer you get to your goal, um, the harder it is for you to lose weight. And this time, this round, I'm on, I'm on VLCD 15 today. I only had one day that I had a gain. Um, I've had a couple days where the scale didn't move, but um, that's because I was working doubles. And I think that that's, you know, because last, my last round I had more gains and stalls than I had losses. So, uh, you know, is it because of the distilled water? I don't know. Am I having the placebo effect that I think it's working and it's really not? Maybe. But the scale doesn't lie. And so... Um, I have almost, from my loading weight, I've almost released 10 pounds. Or, no, 154, point, uh, so that would be 10.8. So I have 10.8 pounds from after I loaded. So that's really awesome. Um, anyway, I just wanted to make this vlog because I know a lot of you guys have been curious about it. Um, Heavy Dobby made a vlog where she posted an article that Dr. McCullough wrote about distilled water too. So check that out if you guys are interested about it. Um, I just want to maybe give you guys a little bit of education about it. Um, like I said, maybe not for everybody, but I know for at least for my experience, um, I think it's I think it's been helping out a lot. So, hope you guys found this really useful, and thank you everybody for sharing your mop on my last vlog. If you haven't checked that out, watch that. I'm just talking about you know your own protocol, and if you if you're like strict to the Simeon's protocol, you know that's fine too. I'm not saying that what I'm doing is right, but it's, it's what works for me. And, um, you know, you don't necessarily have to like give me a ton of flack about it. And I even said at the beginning of the video, if you're going to be offended by it, then don't watch it. But I still had, you know, some comments that were like, Oh, well, this is a, this is bad. You shouldn't do this. And Simeon's wrote it for a reason. I'm not going to get into the politics of it. Cause I don't want to try to cause anything. Cause I'm not trying to cause anything. I just wanted to share with everyone what I did and what works for me. Um, at the suggestion of D and Chunk, you know, everybody does it their own way. That's all I'm saying. So, you have your way. I have my way. I respect you. You can respect me. So, that's it. Yep. Happy Monday to everybody. I love you guys very much. Um, I hope everyone has a great day. And hopefully you learned a little bit something about distilled water. So, yeah. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.